Hey, good morning, folks. Good morning, great afternoon here. Hey, this is Wesley, billion dollar virgin. I'm on the way to the gym, and I thought I would do a fast, quick video for you talking about um, how or when to purchase a supercar, okay? Because believe it or not, okay, everybody that followed me, they're not broke, right? I know some of you assume that everybody that follows Wesley, billion dollar virgin, has no money. No, that's not true. So many successful people follow me around the planet here, and I get questions from uh, semi-successful folks about, well, Wesley, when should I buy the car of my dreams? Because I want to do it in a very smart way. Uh, I, I want to be responsible, and I'm going to make sure I'm not making mistakes here. So listen, this is this video here is for everyone. Okay. Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. You know what time it is. Check that. So, uh, I thought I would do a quick video, even to talk to the people who are not making money. But one day you will claim it, um, and the people who already have money, but are not sure when they should buy, like the McLaren. Like I'm driving my McLaren here today. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It smells good. Good vibe as well. And. Uh, and I have seven of these different luxurious cars. And let me teach you something about how to buy a soup car so you don't wind up broke like a ton of people, right? Some people, when they make money and they tend to move too quickly buying stuff, okay? Now, understand, you know, cars like this, whatever, maybe we may call this dumb money, right? Because, but I can spin it and I can communicate to you on how it is an investment but whatever so number one okay when you get ready to buy a supercar like this vehicle here I believe it's four hundred thousand dollars okay sorry folks uh, this vehicle here cost me four hundred thousand dollars now listen you should not buy a $400,000 vehicle until you can pay for that vehicle cash three times over, okay? Are, are you listening? Three times over. Listen, when I bought and purchased my first Lamborghini, well, when I went to the Lamborghini Houston here, uh, and that that vehicle was $225,000, the Lamborghini, Lamborghini Huracan. Well, listen up here. I did not buy that vehicle until I had three times the amount of money in the bank. And as a matter of fact, I bought that cash. Okay? So put that in the back of your head. It's important to have, because I know some of you believe that a million dollars may change your life. And maybe it will. I'm making some money, whatever. But without discipline, without a financial structure with your money, you're gonna go broke. Listen, I know right now some of you are not making a ton of money, okay? Two thousand a month, three thousand a month, four thousand, five, ten thousand dollars a month, whatever. Right? I get it. But I want you to remember this. This is important. I learned this in my twenties here. Is that if you're not disciplined, okay? Like if you're not disciplined with the money that you currently have, it doesn't matter how much more money that you obtain or acquire. You're still gonna make very bad financial decisions with the money. Look, come here. If you can't manage a dollar, sweetheart, a young man, if you can't manage a dollar, if you cannot manage the money that's coming into your bank account, if you're the person that just spends all your money, you say, I got bills, so I'm gonna spend all the money on bills. No. You have to get disciplined to the point that if you make $2,500 a month, off top, you have to take out $500, $300, $200, and imagine as if you don't have it. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, I need that. No, you don't. Listen. Excuse me. Listen. You don't need that money. You think you do. The big problem is most people are not paying attention to... Excuse me. They're not paying attention to the money that they're spending, right? When you go out, when you buy uh, alcohol, when you go to the happy hour, when you go uh, to, to McDonald's or a fast food, whatever. 
right? This small money is what's keeping you broke because you're not keeping track of it, okay? And like the average person, honestly, has no budget at all. Like most of you have no budget. Some of you do, but most have no budget. Listen, until you can manage a dollar, one dollar, you're not going to be able to manage a million dollars. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, I will. I'm telling you, if I had a million dollars, listen, that's easy to say. That's like saying I'm going to work out every day, but that you don't get off your ass and go to the gym. Like, to say something, obviously, is not enough, okay? So, I'm teaching you here because I'm rich. I'm wealthy here. And I, and I understand the process because it was a time I was making $10,000 per month, and $10,000 per month was gone every single month, all right? Because... I had that poverty mindset that when I would bring in money, I would find more ways to spend the money. Does that make sense? Let me say it again. When I would make money, okay, I would find ways to spend the money even before I got the check. And that's what most of us do. You get a raise, you spend more money. You get a bonus, you spend more money. You get your tax refund. You already know what you want to buy. Instead of saying, you know what? I'm going to take this, I'm going to allocate this money and put this in this account, which I don't touch. Real briefly here, let me show you, let me, let me give you the brevity on how I manage all my funds and finances and things of that sort. Can I get a thumbs up? Are you guys getting value here? Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, let's let the back window down. Look at that. Look, look behind me. Look behind me. Look. <laughs> all right, check it out so you can guys hear the pipes. Check it out. This is how I've managed my money for the past 10 years. The reason why I probably would never go broke. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible for me to go broke. So, I have several accounts, okay? Now, I did this when I was about 30 years old before I made a million dollars. I had several accounts because I don't believe in saving money because saving money assumes that I'm going to need that money for emergency purposes or I'm going to need that money for a bad day. I don't believe in bad days. I don't believe in emergencies. Now, if an emergency happened, I deal with it, but I don't allocate nor put money in my bank account for an emergency purpose. What I do is, the money that I bring in, I put this money in different accounts that will fund and create this lifestyle. Like, listen, this McLaren, right? It cost me like almost $400,000, right? I'm sorry, guys, I mean, those pipes are too loud here. Listen, uh, my McLaren, it cost me $400,000, okay? But I took the money from an account that is labeled my car account, okay? Like I have a luxurious car account. Well, all the money is when I want to buy a car. And okay? when I get the itch and I want a vehicle, I got it. So I put 30000 down and I got the car. That's it. From the car account. You see these braces right here? I have cardio braces here, okay? Like four of them, okay? And it's like $40,000. Well, I have a jury account, okay? So listen... When my active income comes in, okay, when that active and passive income comes in, my money is divided within all these different accounts. So I'm not just taking the money out of the main account and saying, you know what, let me buy this, let me buy this. No, if the money is not in the jury account, I don't buy jury, okay? If the money's not in the car account, I don't buy cars. If the money's not in the real estate account, I don't buy houses. If the money's not in the vacation account, I don't buy, I don't fly to Dubai or whatever, right? Does that make sense? See, that makes me very structured, okay? So, and I did this before I made a million dollars. So, check it out. So, when I made the million dollars, I had the same discipline, okay? So, that's how you get rich, honestly. That And that's how you buy a supercar. Uh, watch this video again if you're just getting here. I talked about how to buy a supercar, when you should buy a supercar, and how to do it in the way that it will make more sense for you and your bank account here. So listen, I love you folks. If you got massive value, give me a thumbs up. Um, below here, come with the word value. And also, uh, if you're looking, I'm not mentoring right now, but I am looking for partners. If you're looking for partnership with Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin here, um, go to my bio. And click on the button that says, I'm sorry, on the link that says Wesley Virgin 15 minute call with me. And I will be able to decide if you're a good partner for me. And this year, the next 12 months, we're going to do $100 million. I'm so excited about that and blessed. My team is phenomenal. Shout out to my team. Shout out to Team Virgin Media here. Uh, they have done such a tremendous job 
Uh, I love them so much because they love me and they work their asses off and I appreciate you. So everybody that works for Western Diversion, I have about, about 70 different employees that work for me directly, indirectly around the world here. And sometime I don't get the opportunity to share my appreciation. But listen, I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, you're amazing. I'm driving this car at the same time trying to talk to you. And <laughs> give me a second. So much love, folks. And remember, let me leave you with this before I... Uh, go to the gym here listen and I say this over and over again but I really want you uh, I really want you to get this and I really want you to understand this in life in life you don't get what you want out of life you get what you picture I want you to really tattoo that in the back of your mind like in your life it's not about getting what you want people don't get what they want okay everybody wants stuff but the people that actually acquire things are the people who picture what they want. They picture it. They see it. Like I saw the McLaren years ago, decades ago. I saw the penthouse. I saw all the, the travel. I saw it before I ever had to the opportunity to have it in my hand, be able to touch it, right? Feel it, you know? So remember those words. I can't stand the bumps here in Houston, Texas. It's insane. So much love. This is Wesley. Billion dollar version. Let's go. Motivated. Dedicated. Let go. Ah.